Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I uploaded the last video and I promised many users to show you how to develop or unlock a Windows Phone device. I'm keeping my promise with this video, but couldn't do it with the old method. Here's the new one that I just discovered and it will hopefully work a bit longer. First of all we need to create a student's account, where you will get your edu mail, which is required to register at DreamSpark. Therefore visit this link and fill out the form. I wouldn't recommend using your real name, just use a short name like I did here. Remember to use a really existing name, not like Windows Phone or whatever. If you make too many mistakes in the form, like providing an incorrect city plus zip combination too often, they will notice it. Now you will need a social security number, which you can generate at follow-in link. You will need to remove the hyphens and add just two random numbers instead. For the rest of the form you can just fill in the exact things as I did. Use Los Angeles as your city, which has the zip code 90001. In the form below you can just check everything with yes. At this point just do what I did, I think it's the easiest way. Choose high school and select Bakersfield. At the next one you select no and choose the primary area in which you want to study. Now they want to know a bit more about you. It doesn't matter which race you choose, at least I hope. Interested in cars, this guy must be half white, half Japanese. I'm sorry if this is racist. Below you don't need to select anything until they ask about your parents' education. Just choose something you want from this list, it doesn't matter what. Now select a four digit number for your student's email. After it's generated, copy it to your notepad. This is really important. After this, you have to enter a password. Just write it down if you fear forgetting it. Now set up a security question and answer. You actually don't need to provide a recovery email address, but I typed in the answer mistakenly. Here you can just tick simply everything, accept their terms of service, accept to sell your soul or whatever they may want. And if you don't get an error, you're done for the first part. Also don't forget to copy the student's ID to your notepad. This is really important. If you get an error here, you have made too many mistakes when filling out the form. Just visit the page again and be more careful not to make any mistake. After you've done that, you can close this tab. So here's the second part. Visit the third link and log in using your student's ID and your password. Then you have successfully logged in as a student. Now we need to get your email account. Go to this page and log in with your email address, username and password. Accept the agreement with Google and you can use your EDU mail to register as a Windows Phone developer. After we've set up your EDU mail, visit the Windows Phone Dev Center using following link and log in with your Windows Live ID. This mail does not necessarily need to be connected to your Windows Phone. You could just use any account if you want to. Then you need to select the US as your country and register as an individual. Agree to the legal terms and click on Next. Here you need to provide Microsoft some information about yourself. Again, I wouldn't recommend using real info. I've just used a fake name and a random phone number. They won't send you a text for confirmation or anything like that. After you've filled out the form, click on Next. On this page, you click on I'm a student and go to Next. This will show you an error that you could not be verified. Click on this link and there you select the first option. Don't forget to use the US as a country and type in the school's name, Bakersfield College, and then you continue. Now type in your student's email address and confirm it. Then you'll have to go to your Gmail inbox, and there you should find a message from Microsoft. Click the link to confirm you as student and go to Next. Now this should automatically forward you to the page where you will again need to select the option I'm a student. That's it, you are done with registering. You are now a confirmed Windows Phone developer. To develop or unlock your device, you will now have to download the SDK for Windows Phone 8 or Windows Phone 7. After you've installed the software, 
run the developer registration tool and connect your Windows phone to your PC. Type in the email and password of your developer account and now your phone is registered. To install XAPs on your device, run the application deployment tool and install the apps that you want. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, hit the like button or share the video if I could help you. See you next time.